In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant. Today, the United Kingdom's chief medical officers have advised that the country should move to alert level five, meaning that uh, if action is not taken, NHS capacity may be overwhelmed within 21 days. It began last year. The whole United Kingdom has been engaged in a great national effort to fight COVID. And there's no doubt that in fighting the old variant of the virus, our collective efforts were working and would have continued to work. But we now have a new variant of the virus, and it's been both frustrating and alarming to see the speed with which the new variant is spreading. Our scientists have confirmed this new variant is between 50 and 70 percent more transmissible. That means you're much, much more likely to catch the virus and to pass it on. As I speak to you tonight, our hospitals are under more pressure from COVID than at any time since the start of the pandemic. In England alone, the number of COVID patients in hospitals has increased by nearly a third in the last week to almost 27,000. And that number is 40% higher than the first peak in April. On the 29th of December, more than 80,000 people tested positive for COVID across the UK, a new record. The number of deaths is up by 20% over the last week and will sadly rise further. And my thoughts are with all those who've lost loved ones. With most of the country already under extreme measures, it's clear that we need to do more together to bring this new variant under control while our vaccines are rolled out. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant. That means the government is once again instructing you to stay at home. You may only leave home for limited reasons permitted in law, such as to shop for essentials, to work if you absolutely cannot work from home, to exercise, to seek medical assistance, or to escape domestic abuse. And because we now have to do everything we possibly can to stop the spread of the disease, primary schools, secondary schools, and colleges across England must move to remote provision from tomorrow, except for vulnerable children and the children of key workers. I completely understand the inconvenience and distress this late change will cause millions of parents and pupils up and down the country. Parents whose children were in school today may reasonably ask why we did not take this decision sooner. And the answer is simply that we've been doing everything in our power to keep schools open because we know how important each day in education is to children's life chances. And I want to stress that the problem is not that schools are unsafe for children. Children are still very unlikely to be severely affected by even the new variant of COVID. The problem is that schools may nonetheless act as vectors for transmission, causing the virus to spread between households. Today, the United Kingdom's chief medical officers have advised that the country should move to alert level five, meaning that uh, if action is not taken, NHS capacity may be overwhelmed within 21 days. Oh.